Hello students, in present video, I am going to explain about ninth problem from depreciation topic. I am taking this question from Pankaj Publications book. Let us see the question first. A company whose accounting year is calendar year purchased on 1st April 2004 missionary costing 3 lakh rupees. It purchased further missionary on 1st October 2004 costing 2 lakh rupees. On 1st January 2006, one third of the missionary installed on 1st April 2004 became obsolete and was sold for 30,000. Obsolete means machine became outdated and we are going to stop the use of this machine. Depreciation is being written off on fixed installment method at 10% per annum. Prepare missionary account as would appear in the ledger of the company for the years 2004 to 2006. So 2004, 5, 6. For 3 years he is asking us to prepare asset account. See this is the solution. Missionary account. Date particular amount, date particular amount. First what happened? On 1st April 2004 missionary costing 3 lakh rupees purchased. And it purchased further missionary on 1st October 2004 costing 2 lakh rupees. So in 2004 year, two assets are purchased. When we buy the asset, debit side we should show now. So first asset is purchased on 1st April 2004. Two bank account we should write. And the first asset cost 3 lakh rupees. And in the same year on 1st October 2004, they purchased second asset for 2 lakh rupees. Then. In starting is giving that a company whose accounting year is calendar year. So calendar year they are following. Therefore, year starts with the 1st January and ends with 31st December. So on 31st December 2004, we have to provide depreciation on these two assets. So credit side 31st December 4 by depreciation account on first asset. First asset cost is 3 lakh rupees. 3 lakh into Depreciation rate is 10% now, 10 by 100 into, from when to when we use this asset, we purchase on 1st April. So, April, May, June, July, August, September, October, November, December, 9 months we used, therefore into 9 by 12, 22,500. Second asset, cost is 2 lakh rupees at the rate of 10%, for how many months? Second asset is purchased on 1st October. So, October we used, November, December, 3 months we used, therefore into 3 by 12, 5000. So, total in outer column 27,500. So, 2 assets depreciation is 27,500 in 2004 year. Remaining debit total 5 lakh minus credit amount 27,500, remaining amount is 472,500. Write down that on credit side. Further date is last date of the year and what to write by balance carried down. Then two sides highest total 5 lakh rupees 5 lakh rupees. So first year is completed. Come to second year. 31st December 2004 next date we should write here on debit side. 1st January 2005. On that day we are bringing this balance now. So write down two balance brought down 4 lakh 72,500 and 2005 year last date is 31st December 2005. On that day, we have these two assets. So there is no additional purchase. There is no sale. Same two assets are continuing. And for how many months from 1st January to 31st December? Full year we use these two assets. So credit side by depreciation account. First asset. This is original cost method now. So the feature of this method is Every year we have to provide depreciation on original cost of the asset. First asset original cost 3 lakh. Second asset original cost 2 lakh. On these two values only we should provide depreciation. So 3 lakh into 10 by 100. 2 lakh into 10 by 100. See here we have not taken months because full year we used. So in first year, first asset we used only for 9 months. Second asset we used only for 3 months. But in second year, full year we used. Therefore, for 12 months, we have to calculate depreciation. That is why, again, we need to calculate depreciation amounts. So, same this 27,500, we cannot take to second year. So, first asset depreciation 30,000, 
second asset depreciation 20,000 total in outer column 50,000 then balance carried down debit total 4,72,500 minus credit amount 50,000 is equal 4,22,500 two sets highest total 4,72,500 4,72,500 so second year is completed come to third year next date to this date 1st January 6 bring this balance on debit side Two balance brought down this value 4,22,500 here and in 2006 year what happened on 1st January 2006 one third of the machinery installed on 1st April 2004 on 1st April 2004 which asset is installed 3 lakh worth asset in this 3 lakh worth asset one third became obsolete and was sold for 30,000 means remaining asset two-third asset is not sold now it is continuing first that is sold part one-third part details will show it is sold on 1st of January 2006 when asset is sold credit side we should write by bank account they sold it for 30,000 rupees now write down that and in 2006 year we need not to show depreciation on this sold asset why? Because they sold it on 1st January 2006. In 2006, only one day is there. No? For one day, we need not to calculate depreciation. So the meaning is one third asset is used only for these two years, 2004-2005. In 2006 year, it is not there. So 2006 starting date only, we sold that asset. No? So for one day, we need not to calculate depreciation. Therefore, in 2006 year, don't show any depreciation on this sold asset. Directly on this sale, there may be a profit or loss now that we should calculate. See the working notes. Heading is calculation of profit or loss in sale of one third missionary. Now, total missionary value is 3 lakh rupees. Don't take that one. So, cost only this one third missionary cost we have to take. Therefore, 3 lakh into 1 by 3, 1 lakh. From that, total depreciation on this one third missionary we should subtract. For 2004, 3 lakh worth asset depreciation is available here, 22,500. We should not take this value because this is the depreciation on total asset, 3 lakh worth asset. But we are calculating profit or loss in one third asset now. Therefore, in this 22,500, one third value only we should consider here. So, 22,500 into 1 by 3, 7,500. Similarly, 2005 year. In inner column, on total asset, 3 lakh worth asset, depreciation is available, 30,000. We should not take this one. In this 30,000, only one third depreciation we want. Therefore, 30,000 into 1 by 3, 10,000. Total in outer column, 17,500. So, on this damaged part, one third part, depreciation is 17,500. From this one third asset cost, subtract one third asset depreciation. Then remaining value, 82,500. This is book value. Means, on sale date, the actual value of this damaged missionary is 82,500. And in question is giving that they sold it for 30,000. So sale value is less than book value, you know, 82,500 worth they said they sold for only 30,000. So there is a loss of 52,500. This amount you have to show in the asset account. We said if profit comes, debit side we should show. Loss, credit side. So last came now credit sale. And what is the date for that? Sale date only. When we sell on that day only loss comes. Therefore for loss also date is same. 1st January 2006. And what to write for that? By profit and loss account. Means this loss again you are going to transfer to profit and loss account. Loss amount 52,500. With this, this damaged part, one third part details are completed. Now come to remaining missionary. So on 31st December 2006, which assets we have? In this 3 lakh asset, one third is sold. So two third is left now. 
the data set we have and on 1st October 2004 we purchased another asset not 2 lakh that is also we have. So on these two assets we have to calculate depreciation. First to 3 lakh. In this 3 lakh only 2 third is there. So 3 lakh into 2 third into depreciation rate is 10%. 10 by 100 is equal 20,000. Next second asset depreciation. Second asset 2 lakh worth asset. In 2006 from January to December we have now. Therefore full year depreciation we should take here. And full year depreciation already we have calculated in second year 20,000. So take the same value here. 20,000 plus 20,000. Total in outer column 40,000. Next debit total minus credit total. 4,22,500 minus 30,000. 52,500. 40,000 is equal to 3 lakh rupees. For 3 lakh write down the last date of the year. 31st December 6. And the balance carried out. Two sets highest total 4,22,500, 4,22,500. He is asking us to prepare asset account up to 2006. So completed. But in asset account, there is a balance of 3 lakh rupees. No? Means asset account is not at closed. Therefore, for next date, we have to bring that and we have to stop the problem. So next date is 1st January 2007. On that day, balance carried down amount, bring on debit side. Two balance brought down this value 3 lakh rupees. So this is the end of present problem. Take a screenshot of this solution. So take a screenshot of this working notes also. So this is the end of present video. Hope this video is helpful to you. Thank you.